For some people, a toy hauler is an RV with couches and a master bedroom and a kitchen and a bathroom with a garage to put a side-by-side -side or a motorcycle. For me, a toy hauler is a garage with an attached huh, kitchen. Yeah, sure. I got a kitchen. A garage is a place to store things and haul things and work on things. This trailer was found with a collapsed roof. It was a six foot ceiling in the center and about a five or five and a half foot ceiling on the edges. So when we rebuilt the roof, we extended it. Then in the process, added insulation everywhere, put some heat in it and a bunch of other amenities like a toolbox and a you know, DVD player and some speakers and stereos lighting throughout. The most recent addition though is a glove and boot warmer. Mostly this trailer is used in the winter to haul snowmobiles and it becomes not only a place for the snowmobiles to get moved around but also a place for them to dry out the snow to melt and for people to take refuge when when people get cold. So the glove and boot dryer is all assembled. The black stuff is ABS. I learned the hard way that the PVC pipe doesn't deal well with, with heat. Up on the higher deck, it's been okay, but down here lower, I needed some bigger pipe and I needed ABS. But just because I didn't want to be 100% permanent, I just put some little tiny screws in the joints. I'm really not all that concerned about being airtight and I'd like to be able to manipulate it and change it if the need arises. So it's really screwed together, not glued together. Here's the problem. Standard pipe size, in this case, three inch down to, I think, what, inch and a half um, and, and, and two inch up here on the top rung, has a outside diameter coming out of the source down here that doesn't match anything near the inside diameter of the flex hose from the heater. What I have underneath here is one of these Chinese diesel heaters. Webasto, I think, is a common brand. Um, they're actually pretty good units. I think it's in, what is it, 8, 8 KBTU or something like that unit. It warms the place up really quite well, just free flowing the air. But I'd like to be able to redirect the air from there up into here. So the outside diameter of this PVC is three and a half inch. The inside diameter of the flexos is three inch. Somehow I've got to get from there to there and I'm not finding any really good solutions through commercial means. So we're gonna do our own. This is the original adapter that comes out of the end of the diesel heater. The flex tubing goes on the end here and then there's a directional vent that sits on the end of this. The mount holes are here. We'll use those for reference going forward. The piece we build will mount to those same points. So if we look at this thing, it's really a set of circles. We have this outer circle. We might call that the cylinder or the core. We have this inner circle that's a little smaller. What we care about mostly is having this dimension fit inside of the flex hose and then have a new dimension on the outside that matches up with our, with our plumbing using the PVC or the ABS, which is a, a three inch pipe, um, which in, in this case provides an almost exactly three and a half inch outside diameter. So the outside diameter of our three inch pipe needs to fit into the inside diameter of our new adapter. So we'll want a three and a half inch here. So what we're going to do is start out with a four inch cylinder. This is not quite four inches, but pretty close. That will give us room for a th three and a half inch inside diameter piece on the adapter and leave enough room for sidewall. So we're going to start with a, a circle. Um, what we do is create a sketch here. We'll call that the core. And the sketch plane is the front. That's kind of arbitrary at this point, but for point of reference, we'll use that one. It's the easiest. And what we want to do is draw a circle. So here's our circle. We want that to be a four inch circle. This is the outer core. So if we grab the measuring tool, we just grab the diameter here and say we want that to be four. There's our, our four inch point. We can confirm that sketch. Now what we want to do is extrude that sketch to create a cylinder. 
And so it's the face of the core that we're extruding. We're going to go in, uh, let's see, we're going to go three inches. We're going to call this, we'll call this core as well. We have now a core extrude against the core drawing. And that gives us a three inch extrude, um, which probably works just fine. But what we'd like to do is have that, kind of like to have this be the, in, the, the inflection point, if you will, of the adapter, the reducer. Uh, so let's change that just a little bit. And let's make that symmetric. So now it's an inch and a half in each direction, which, by the way, is again somewhat arbitrary. But if we look at our original adapter, we can see that it was you know, right about an inch and, uh, what have we got, an inch and three-eighths. So if we go an inch and a half, that gives us a little extra into the flex pipe, which for what we're doing will work out just fine. So now we have kind of our core. From there, we need to make provisions for uh, carving out enough material uh, for the, let's start with the PVC end of it. So if we, if we do a, a PVC sketch now, what we can do is confirm that. We want another sketch, and this will, we'll call it PVC because that's the type of pipe we're using to go into it. And that will be on the face of the core as well. So if we go back to the front, select that. We want to draw something on the face of the core. And what we want to draw is another circle starting at the center, and we want this one to be three and a half inches, because that's the outside diameter of the pipe that we're using. Uh, that should have centered, why didn't that center? We want, oh, because I did it silly, that's why. We need, um, a couple ways to do this. What I'm going to do is simply say that I want um, this to be lined up with that. Whoops. That will center the circle inside of the three and a half inch circle inside of the four inch circle. Okay. Then what we can do is extrude the, the PVC in a negative sense. So if I select that and say, oh, let's see, we got to confirm the sketch. Yeah, that's good. Then select it and then extrude it. What we're going to do is remove material. And we're going to go uh, inward, which is the direction that it's going. And we want it to go in one and a half inches. Now we have a place for the PVC pipe to go into the adapter. Then let's do the heater pipe side of it. So similar kind of a thing. Now what we need to do is define a circle the size of the outside diameter, sorry, the inside diameter of the flex tube. So if we do a sketch for that, and this is the, we call this the heater pipe, and it will be drawn to do a couple different things. The easiest thing to do is probably, again, the face of the core. So our sketch plane is here. And now uh, we need another circle. And this circle needs to be the outside diameter of the existing adapter, which should be the same as the inside diameter of the flex pipe, which is really close to three inches. This one isn't quite three inches, but close enough. And I think three inches would fit inside of that flex pipe. So we'll do a three inch circle. We want it to be from the center. We want it to be three inches. Now, we also need 
we need air to flow through this thing. So we also need a circle. All right, this defines the outside. We also need a circle in here to define the inside. And so we'll go with a, again, this is somewhat arbitrary. You want as much room as possible so that we're not impeding flow. But we also need some strength to the side wall. So we'll just go with a two and three quarter. That should give us enough room uh, to maintain that strength as well. So now let's take this and extrude it. Um, that's a that's a removal. So if we do a negative extrude, and we want that to go back in that direction, but we want it to be. Let's see, we'll go in. We don't want to go, we can't go all the way on that one. We need a little bit of room for the face of the adapter right at the transition point. So we can't go a full inch and a half. We need to leave something. But we can go maybe an inch and three eighths. Uh, this is our heater type extrude. I know I'm kind of inconsistent sometimes when I name things. That gets that opened up. So now we have the uh, it'll fit to where it will fit inside of the flex pipe. Uh, now what we need to do is extrude down the middle with the other circle. Now extrude. And we want that to go in the full inch and a half uh, of removal. And that takes us all the way through. That gives us the, the core of the shape right there. Now it's a matter of details. We have to get some screw holes put into it. We will figure that out just by measuring how far apart these things are. So I've got really close, well, really close to 2.9. We put a hole on here. somewhere in that neighborhood and we're going to want these holes to be what is that about a quarter inch hole yep we want a quarter inch hole um we might want those to be yeah quarter inch is good so we'll do whoa what was that here here so 0 0.25 gives us our hole now the distance between that one and that one should be 2.9 inches and the difference between this one and that one should be 2.9 inches. Bar. Oops. All right. Wow, that looks pretty good right there, doesn't it? And I know that's a little bit arbitrary, the way that came together. But as long as the spacing, what we really care about is that these things are 2.9 inches apart. If every one of them is 2.9 inches apart, then we know it'll go on there. And so if it's, if it's even close to, I think we could actually measure this one and see if it's similar to that. Let's go. Look at that, 0 0.297. That's except we're within some small fraction of an inch right there. All right, so now we've got those holes. <clears throat> now, because the screw has a head on it, it that's a little bigger than the hole that the screw will fit through, we need to carve out um, from this side. We're going to need to carve out... the side wall right here to make room for that head. So let's make about a, I don't know, a half inch hole for that. Similar concept, same center point. Uh, we want those to be No, 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 that's not where that goes. That's supposed to be the, the circle. There 
we go. Try that again. Alright. We'll do that a couple more times. So here's the finished product ready to be exported for printing. It's a uh, fairly simple assembly. It's a single piece assembly. We'll be able to print that all in one go. To do that, we'll export this. I always use the um, STL format. Uh, adapter. And into millimeters. And we'll save that off and generate a, uh, a print for it. There's our part. Here's our trial assembly. No screws are in place, but the adapter's in. We have a couple of elbows, a 90 and a 45, to go from the source at the bottom up through the chimney. It's not a chimney, the flue, whatever that is. And then providing hot air to the boot and the glove warmer at the end, partially to keep air flowing when needed, and then partially if I would rather redirect the heat into the cabin, I can pull the end off and let the air just flow through.